Joy Behar might not be a match for the apartment building elevator that once kidnapped her, but she's ready to go all out and fight former President Donald Trump if he chooses to seek revenge on The View co-hosts for regularly speaking out against him. The co-hosts dissected Trump's recent Univision interview during Friday's Hot Topics segment, heavily criticizing the ex-apprentice host's suggestion that he would move to indict political opponents who were beating him in an election amid other intimations that he'd seek retribution against his harshest critics. Don't his supporters see that he turns on people who are in his corner? If you dare to go against him, even this much, he goes bananas on you, Behar said. Ana Navarro then equated his words to weaponizing governments against his opponents. Sonny Hostin compared Trump's sentiment to McCarthyism, dictatorship, and fascism, while panelist Alyssa Farah Griffin, a former Trump White House associate who resigned from his administration in 2020, before going on to become one of his most vocal opposers. Also cautioned the audience against her one-time boss actions. Donald Trump is running for president for two reasons, to get out of jail and to get revenge on his enemies. And when he speaks, we should listen. Frankly, it's scary, Griffin said, listing people she thinks he's going to come after. Among that list, Behar added, would likely be the View co-hosts. Us. What about us? The 81-year-old said, turning to the camera to challenge Trump directly. Try it. Go ahead, try it. We have this show every day. Okay. Donald? Hostin finished the back and forth with a legal note, indicating that a Trump aide clarified that Trump was not claiming that he was going to seek retribution against his political opponents, but attempted to make the point that a new precedent had been set by the Biden Department of Justice. Behar's comment came two days following Secretary of State and 2016 Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's Wednesday appearance on The View, where she offered a grim forecast about the state of the nation if Trump were to be elected to his second term in 2024. I can't even think that, because I think it would be the end of our country as we know it, and I don't say that lightly. I hated losing, and I especially hated losing to him because I'd seen so many warning signals during the campaign. Clinton told the co-hosts, adding that she tried to support Trump as the leader of the country. Literally, from his inauguration on, it was nothing but accusing people of things, making up facts, denying the size of the crowd at his own inauguration. Everything I worried about, I saw unfolding. 